I am a psychonaut. A real psychonaut. Me, Raz. After dreaming about it all my life, I'm finally a psychonaut on an actual mission. Rescuing not just anybody, but the grand head of the psychonauts himself, Truman Zanotto, who just happens to be the father of my girlfriend. I mean, I think she's my girlfriend. There was that kiss, but it's not like we've had the talk or anything. But hey, she said it first. Darling? Didn't she? Rasputin, sweetie. Oh, Mia. Hello, darling. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Yeah, I'm fine. And that you knew you were talking out loud. You could hear me? Just that last part, about Lily. <laughs> it's adorable, but we're trying to contact headquarters up here, and it's a little distracting. Gotcha. So embarrassing. This is Agents 9 and Vodello hailing PNML 857. Come in, Motherload. Motherload, come in. This is Agents 9 and. Sorry, little busy right now. No time for camp business. This is not camp business, Herndon. This concerns the kidnapping. Neither of you are assigned to that mission. We are already aboard the Pelican en route to the Motherload. We don't need your help here. It would only add overhead to a complex operation. Give us the intel you've gathered so far, and we can help it's with the- under control, agents. Go back to camp and take care of those children. But- Mother load out. Unbelievable. It's that Herndon Forsyth. I'll bet he wants all the glory for this rescue himself. This is no time for politics. A man's life is at stake. Shh. Well, we'll just have to locate Truman on our own. I'll reach out now and see if I can pick anything up. If we're anywhere near Truman, Mia should be able to sense it. Poor Lily. She must be really freaked out about her dad. It's often important to see the world from someone else's point of view. Especially when you're strapped to your seat. Wow! I'm seeing the world from Mia's point of view. Yes, and you're quite welcome, but I'm trying to find Truman Zanotto right now, so please try to keep it done while you're in here, okay? I can't believe I'm on a mission alongside my childhood hero, Sasha Nine! Don't mess this up, Rasputin. Wow. So this is how Sasha sees the world. Well, not usually from so high in the air, but yes. Oh man. Is that what I look like? Hang on. That's better. So, this is what people see when they see the world through my eyes. Fascinating. A little psychic poke might come in handy. Fluffy. Hey, Lily. You okay? I'm just really worried about my dad. Why would someone want to kidnap him? Open it with that lock on there. Hey! Oh no, did the squirrels get in here again? That's to be expected when you park a plane in the woods, darling. I told headquarters an underground hangar pays for itself in two years. Well, let's think of it as a mascot. Some people think that telekinesis is a little showy, but it's really the psychic's bread and butter. I am the master of pillows.
I suddenly feel hey, a little Red nutty. Dude, you think you're <laughs> a roll of toilet paper? Ah, who asked you? Everybody knows squirrels have no sense of humor. Red Putin! Sorry! Wow, this stuff is super light. Not a problem, I'll double up. Just hand it to me, quick! Thanks for the reinforcement, son. Lily's always been better at burning stuff than me. But I feel that knowing when not to burn stuff is an undervalued skill. Lily, stop burning stuff back there. <laughs> it's not me! When you really focus your thoughts, you sure can get a lot done. And break a lot of stuff. I can't open it with that lock on there. Quit it, Rasputin! This music box is special to me! Are you trying to use clairvoyance on that music box to make a connection with your dad? Yeah, but I... I can't do it! Either I'm too freaked out or too involved or the signal's blocked or he's... he's... Don't worry. You'll get it. Oh. Would you mind if I gave it a try? Lily, I'm... I'm getting something. Oh, is it my father? Can you see him? Lily, stay away. Don't come here. It's... not safe. Something's not right. This... isn't good. Ugh. Rasputin! Darling, can you hear me? We all need to focus on protecting the ship's controls. Too late. We need to focus on fastening our seat belts. Ah! Nothing like a little turbulence to get the bows moving. Am I right? Why the hot boy is the ocean coming at us? I need to tell you something.